All right. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for attending this synchronous session. I'm just so sad because not everyone have attended this session. This is your schedule. I mean, this is a class, but not everyone is attending the class. I don't know why. What's the reason of other students that are not here? Anyways, um, just to give you an update of our class, we are already in week 10. This is the start of week 10. And just to remind you, to answer the formative assessments, browse the materials that I have covered in your Canvas that I have included in, in your Canvas courses. There are formative and practice tests no, for there. Um, submit the outputs. If you can uh, you know, start creating your outputs for the letter to my future self and the meaning of my existence by me, these are important outputs that I want you to do. It's more of a personal reflection. It's a personal activity for your own. Browse also all the learning materials. We will cover four uh, lessons na lang, no? for TOP1. Uh, we will be covering the theories of Maslow, uh, the theory of Rogers, the theory of May, and the theory of Frankel. So we're going to cover those four theories. Okay, so um, just to give you a hindsight about humanistic and existential theories, because these are the focus of our lessons already. We're done with psychodynamic theories. Psychodynamic theories focus on past experiences, while humanistic existential theories, they focus more into what do you think is the focus of humanistic and existential theories? They focus more into the person, phenomenology, okay, the individual experience of the person. So we respect the individuality of the person. It's not his fault why he is like this. It's because of what happened uh, to him before. But actually, we have the freedom, we have the choice to move beyond our condition. So that is the essence of humanistic um, theories. So it gives essence also to the humanity of the person, respect the inherent worth of the individual. Um, they believe that the person has a worth. No, we are a worthy person. We are born good. For humanistic approach, people are good. They are inherently good. But for existentialist, people can be both good and evil. They can be both rational and irrational. So um, humanistic approach and existential approach are very applicable when it comes to counseling and in, when it comes to therapy. They are being used, actually. Existential uh, approach or existential perspective is finding meaning out of your experience in this world. Like when you are experiencing a terrible disease, when you are having a terrible condition or something happened to you. You tend to find meaning out of that ex of experience. You tend to meet to tend to derive a purpose. Bakit ka kaya nagkahagan ito? Bakit kaya mo ito nararanasan? So, pwede kang humanap ng reason. Okay? Existence. With existence, you can find essence from that existence. So, purpose with great power, with great freedom comes responsibility. If we know that we're free, if we know that we have um, that capability, there is that responsibility in line with that. No? Merong kahakilap na responsibility doon. So, I guess I will be discussing na lang a little bit about humanistic existential theory number one, holistic dynamic theory of Abraham Maslow. So, you're familiar with the hierarchy of the needs. Okay, this one, the triangle, no? Uh, the hierarchy of the needs. Anyways, I just want to ask you people, do you have a free time tomorrow? I had to discuss an important matter with you. Do you have a free time tomorrow? Because I will be going to school. I had to meet you. There is an important thing that we had to do for October 23, 24 at Thailand. Do you have like a free time tomorrow? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Anong oras, uh, Ayla, yung free time niyo bukas? Para alam ko lang. Hindi naman, um, hindi naman kayong lahat, okay? But for those na pwede, no, are able, kailan kaya yung free time ninyo? Still checking. 
Okay? Um, don't worry, I will be returning your test papers by Saturday because we will have a face-to-face -face class and um, we will discuss, of course, thoroughly the lessons. No? Um, just read the theory of Maslow okay, for this week and uh, kindly kunin nyo yung journals nyo sa akin. Okay? If, if nasa inyo na yung journals nyo, better. Pero if wala, kunin nyo yung journals nyo sa akin. Yun lang naman yung activities ko sa inyo for this time. Yung number one is yung a letter to my future self that will encapsulate Roger's theory of person-centered at saka yung the meaning of my existence that will encapsulate the theory of me and Franklin. So yun yung important activities ko na dapat gawin ninyo. Okay? And um, the quizzes, uh, wag muna tayo mag ano masyado. Um, I'll just try to see when tayo mag, mag quiz na naman. But Let me check. 9.30 to 2.30. Okay, free kayo ng 9.30 to 2.30. Okay, sige. Um, I guess I will just meet you um, this time, siguro. Hanap tayo ng venue. If ever we can have like the psych lab, no? I will try to uh, have the psych lab available. Okay, um, but sige lang, i-discuss ko na lang muna to before siguro mag-lesson. I-discuss ko na lang muna yung gagawin nyo kasi ginagawa ko na yung plan, no? So, bagong meeting, kanina lang kami nag-meeting. Ginawa ko lang din siya kanina, mga ilang oras ba? Two hours, three hours ago. Sana visible yung end ko, no? Makinig lang kayo, makinig lang kayo kasi gagawin nyo naman din talaga to. Um, we are assigned in a booth. So, there will be... um. A mental health exhibit by October 23 to 24. The date, I'm not yet sure kasi medyo ano pa ako kanina. Wala pa sa um, consciousness talaga. Um, 23 to 24 yung date siguro nun. But today yung event na yun. And meron tayong sariling corner or booth. Parang the format that they're planning is dito tayo, pinaka first tayo, um, theoretical framework, paradigms, etiology. Tapos, after natin si abnormal psychology yung mga disorders mental illnesses then may assessment yung psychological assessment yun so parang four corner siya na tayo yung pinaka mauna kasi ito naman talaga yung foundation ninyo eh, in learning about disorders and and uh, how human developed tend to become no kung bakit tayo nagiging ganito kung sino tayo ngayon so magkakaroon tayo ng exhibit personal exhibit natin. So, may mga instructions akong ginawa. So, this is, will be part of your formative assessment. This is worth 100 points. So, please do your best because you're going to showcase what you actually learn from the course. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, we will work or we will have our own exhibit table to showcase your knowledge in theoretical paradigms in psychology for October uh, 23 to 24. Basta dalawang araw siya. To, uh, this day pala is Mental Health Day. World Mental Health Day ngayon. And October is the entire month for World Mental Health. Parang yun yung month no, na for mental health. So, I think critical yun sa psych majors na meron tayong ganap no, during this time. So, um, kindly work with your assigned team members to create this output. I already divided you in your sections. Nakadivide na kayo randomly para wala ng questions and hindi na maiwan kasi kailangan may tao talaga per theory. So, maa-assign kayo sa isang theory no um, Tapos kailangan yung gumawa ng portfolio na parang libro siya. Hindi naman siya sobrang hirap gawin. It's, hindi naman maraming pages. Hindi siya research. Ha? Um, later, I will present to you the mechanics for that. And uh, meron, pwede kang gumawa ng activity. Any activity that is related, like psych test. Um, pwede kayong mag gum gum gumawa ng mga pamphlets, posters, ganyan. Um, pamphlets or bookmarks, or pwede kayong mag-cosplay ng theorist, ganon. So, pwede nyong gawin yun. I know you're creative, guys. I see you already, how you can become so innovative. So, you can work on that. And I am giving you the autonomy and your creative expression for this output. So, anything na gusto nyong gawin. Meron lang akong gustong mga dimensions, mga something na para maging uniform siya. Kasi may table, tapos magpaparequest tayo ng lattice walls. May table, tapos may lattice walls. Booth, booth siya, exhibit siya, ha, exhibit. So, that, so two days, nandun yung mga outputs ninyo. Then, 
um, may magbabantay ng table, syempre, I have to check your attendance on those two days. May, may, may assigned na ako sa core team who will check your attendance from every section. So, AM, PM, um, I guess you will be excused to your classes, no? Sa ibang class ninyo. Um, mag, mag, uh, gag, maggagawa tayo ng way para ma-excuse kayo. So, follow the instructions for uniformity and more organized presentation. So, um, may mga dimensions lang ako that I that I had created para mas organized yung way of presenting it. Hindi yung iba-iba yung itsura. Yung first page, syempre parehas kayo dapat lahat niyan. Kasi exhibit siya. Okay, you will need to make a portfolio book with a mini interactive activity. So, it's on your own choice. Like, let's say, Freud, anong pwedeng activity ninyo? You can give a psych test. If you can give any form of activity, kung wala kayong mahanap na psych test, pwede pamplets, pwede kayong mag-cosplay, something na to endorse your theory. Okay? You had to just create a mini presentation. It does not necessarily mean a psychological test or personality test siya, but something that can endorse your theory. And also a printed poster aside for aside for the portfolio book. A printed poster, a tarpaulin, kasi sa lattice walls, di ba, kailangan natin meron tayong iha-highlight. So may mga, napili ako mga diagrams, something na related sa theory. So part yun ang isasubmit ninyo or part yun ang output ninyo. This is a formative assessment worth 100 points, 70 points portfolio book, 30 points for the poster, tarpaulin, and or mini on the spot live interactive activity like psych tests, printed pamphlets of your assigned theory, bookmark, cosplay, etc. So, Pili lang kayo, no? Um, basta may parang activity lang besides sa libro. Okay? Besides sa libro at poster, may something lang kayo na ganap. Ganun lang yung gusto kong mangyari. Hindi nyo naman kailang gagawin lahat po ito, no? Suggestions lang po ito. So, kung may psych test na kayo, okay na yun. Or if you want to add pamphlets, sige, pwede na rin yun. Okay? There will be judges to critique your overall display of the exhibit. May mga kukunin daw silang judge. Still, I am the one who will mainly evaluate your output. Please assign a group leader per group and collaborate as a team. For those who are not cooperating, please do not include them in the list of group members. I know this is very short notice kasi kanina lang po binigay sa amin yung ganito. Um, they just asked me and syempre, part na rin to ng, ano, ng psychology. No? So, um, kaya natin to in two weeks, I guess. Kaya to, like, less than two weeks, no? We can do it. Um, again, dinidivide ko yung task para mas maging madali sa inyo. Okay? Hindi na yung kailangan ganito, ganyan. Kaya yung lahat gagawa ng ganito, ganyan. So, may core team naman ako which will, which will also help me coordinate these activities. So, thank you for the core team. Thank you sa mga taong yun. No? Um, I know na magaling kayo sa mga bagay na ganito. No? So, please help assist me. Konting tulong po. Okay, next is the cover. Um, This is an instruction for the portfolio book. Picture of the theorist and the name or the proponent of the theory. Like, let's say, psycho psychoanalytic theory by Sigmund Freud. So, example is like this. Make it like this, long bond paper, para uniform tayong lahat. Maganda siya tignan. Hindi siya parang iba-iba yung cover or yung display. But yung sa, yung sa loob niya, kayo na bahala. I'm giving you the liberty, the freedom to express or to create. Basta lang ma-follow yung contents na gusto ko. Why yun? So, um, basically, cover of the theorist and the name of the proponent of the theory. Um, contents. First sheet, syempre, uh, group members and section. Syempre, nandun yung mga pangalan ninyo. Sa mga nag-contribute lang. Huwag nyo nang isali yung mga hindi nag-participate. Second sheet naman, group members, comments in the theory. Like, maglalagay lang kayo ng comments nyo, isipin nyo na may mga magbabasa na hindi psych majors. So, um, siguro parang yun yung digest ninyo. Ano ba yung nakuha ko sa theory na to? Why do you like it? How does it help you understand human behavior and the development of an illness or a disorder? So, lagay nyo lang yun sa, sec sa second sheet. Pwedeng isulat nyo lang, pwedeng printed. Basta nandun yung pangalan ninyo. Like, pangalan nyo. Like, for example, ito yung comment nyo. Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos, lagay mo lang... Ayla, ganyan lang. So, at least my name, no? At least my name. Sino nagsabi ng ganito, ganyan? So, yun na yung makita ko gusto sa second sheet ng libro, ng portfolio. Third sheet naman and succeeding pages, dito na yung main contents. Significant concepts and practical core tenets. So, wag nyong isali lahat. Huwag nyong i-copy-paste yung libro ni Feist. 
yung mga important concepts lang na very practical na sa, na sa tingin, sa, sa assessment ninyo ay makakarelate kahit ni psych major, ay kaya intindihin kahit ni psych major. No, something na madaling makarelate yung tao. So, yun yung mga significant concepts, practical core tenets kung 2 to 3 pages ba kayo bahala. No? Wala akong maximum minimum pages, basta kayo lang bahala kung paano nyo siya isa-stylized. Etiology naman after this, or the cause of the disorder. So, pag sinabi natin etiology, it's the cause of the disorder. Bale, if we say theories of personality, ito yung reason bakit nagkakaroon ng disorder yung person. Might it be by biological, uh, past experiences, social factors, mga ganung bagay. So, um, according sa perspective, ano kaya yung reason? You can combine it with the significant concepts and core tenets. Pero gusto ko lang ma-highlight dito, bakit kaya nagkakaroon ng maladjustment, no? Hindi ko ng maladjustment. Kasi minsan hindi siya disorder, eh. Or problems in terms of behavior, problematic behavior according to the perspective. So, lagyan natin yung any reason bakit nagkakaroon ng problema yung behavior ng person based sa theory, sa na-highlight ng theory, pwede nyong ilagay yun. It doesn't need to be short or long, okay? Um, pwede yung bullet form, kayo bahala, no? Nasa inyo yung huling say. Application to therapy, ilalagay nyo, um, if my if my if my form or parlance ng therapy na applicable like let's say a psychodynamic theories diba a uh, freudian theories adlerian jungian theories no psychoanalytic social theories these are all theories but i these are all ther therapies nag-evolve sila from a theory gets niyo yun no pinag-aaralan niyo yung mga bagay na to kasi nga later on you will apply them to practice to theories at to counseling and therapy so, i-apply ninyo yung insight in human behavior based from the theory that you've learned. Paano siya magiging practice, no? Tapos, last na natin yung biography of the author. I think ito yung hindi na masyado binabasa ng mga tao. <laughs> or ninyo. I'm not sure. Pero, last na natin tong biography of the author. Ito na yung pinaka-last page niya. Um, like what I've mentioned, you have to organize an engagement activity like giving a personality or psych test related to your assigned theory or any practical activity, example, MBTI, then you make the interpretation after a person will took the test. So uh, basically, yun, may MBTI, tapos um, ganun. Like, example lang yun, example activities. Kayo bahala. Ano yung mga activities ninyo? So this is the example of the cover page of the book, the portfolio book. That will that I assign to you. There are eight to nine members per group, or seven to eight members. Don't worry, naka clustered na kayo per section para hindi na mahirap yung pagko coordinate. For you, number for uniformity in the portfolio cover, font style lato no font style size forty. So ito yung cover page. Sa loob naman kayo na bahala. If you want to make make it more creative, kayo na bahala. Anong font style basa sa labas? Dapat pare-parehas kayo para maganda tignan pag nag-exhibit sila tayo. So, ito yung size. So, nag-print lang ako para hindi na kayo mahirapan pa. So, ganyan yung size niya. Isa-send ko naman tong word file. 40 to, lato. So, ito yung cover ninyo. Um, I don't know if kaya ba. Yeah, I think kaya naman yung ganito. Oh. Basta lang ma-highlight natin yung pangalan ng Fury. Yan, example, ganyan. Ganyan siya, o. Oh, diba? So, yung poster naman, uh, this will be exhibited and put in the lattice wall. So, print it as a tarpaulin. Same size dimensions all to be posted on the lattice wall. So, I will still ask you about the size that is applicable for, for the lattice wall para masakto lahat ng posters ninyo. Hindi masyado malaki. Diba, Ayla, alam niyo yung ganito, Ayla, diba? Familiar na kayo yung mga ganitong mga ano, kung anong size yung okay for the lattice wall ng MCN. Ayla? Familiar na kayo. Sige, please tell me na lang ha, kung anong size, anong size ba yung maganda. Comment mo na lang para alam ko. Kasi marami kasi siya, so parang 
latest wall siya, tapos poster, poster, poster. Hindi lahat ng theories, mag- syempre merong collaboration, pero yung mga diagrams na important, like yung, id, id, yung iceberg model, isasali ko yon yung tree model ni Adler, kasali yon yung Maslow's hierarchy of needs, kasali yon Pili lang, hindi lahat ng theories merong model. Uh, i-measure na lang naman namin balik, sir, para sure. Sige, chat me na lang doon sa group natin, ha, para alam ko. Sige lang, para makadelegate ako ng maayos sa dimension sa tarpaulin na ipopost natin. No? When malaman ng groupings, ngayon, actually, isa-send ko siya ngayon. Pina-finalize ko na lang actually yung groupings ninyo. Tapos ko na actually yung groupings. Okay, so, um, special poster. Um, these are the special posters that I have decided to include. Iceberg model by Freud. Siyempre yung model, no? Yung tree model, yung I presented you a tree model, yung parang puno. Um, hindi naman kayo assigned for this. I guess yung assigned sa inyo yung MBTI, personality types by Yong. So, sa grupo ni Yong yun. Erickson's developmental stages by Erickson. Okay. Congruence versus incongruence by Rogers. Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Ito yung congruence versus incongruence class. Ito yung may parang circle. Diba may real self, may ideal self, may true self. So makikita ninyo doon yung congruence comparing sa incongruence. So gawan nyo siya ng tarpaulin kasi applicable siya. Actually, maganda siya. Uh, madaling maintindihan. Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, the very popular. Man, search for meaning. Um, I guess I want you to just showcase a compendium of insights from this book. Like mga quotes, mga learnings, insights, ganun. Uh, mag, yung mga gandang quotes kasi marami kasi siyang mga nice quotes actually. E, pwede kayong gumawa ng parang quotes na mga may mga about man, search for meaning, finding meaning in suffering, mga ganun-ganun. So gusto ko din sanang isali siya. Kasi relatable, no? Relatable siya sa existentialism, especially sa existentialism. Um, teams and groups, so dito na po tayo, dadako sa mga teams and groups. Questions before I proceed? Before I proceed to the division of uh, tasks to your teams? Don't worry, I'll be sending the file to you so you can review it. Then, of course, in our meeting, um, if my time kay tomorrow, message me, ha, please. If ever man, para mas magkaintindihan tayo. Kahit sa office lang, sa labas ng opisina, sa CAS, um, magtanong kayo sa akin or punta kayo sa akin. Wala kasi akong class. May times na wala akong class. So, message me lang. Sir, one group per lattice wall. Um, yes, pero may mga collaborations kasi gusto kong pantay-pantay lahat. So, kapag, for example, yung kay Freud, pinag-collab ko kay Klein. Kasi si Freud yung may magandang diagram. Si Klein, wala masyado siyang mga diagram na pwedeng gawing poster. So, pinag-collab ko sila para share sa budget. Yun din naman yung question. Share share sa pag-finance ng poster. So, pinag-collab ko. So, pwede kayong humingi ng tulong yung grupo ni Freud sa grupo ni ganito. Pwede kayong makipag-collab. Okay? So, part na yun ng assignment ko na kailangan tumulong yung isang group sa ganitong group. I will be sharing to you the ano na. So, ito na, ha? Um, for the core team, um, siguro we have to make uh, name tags to be posted in the long table as the name of the booth. Uniform, dapat siguro para you can print it as a tarpaulin. Okay, like theories of personality, tapos the paradigm of human behavior and how a mental disorder is related. So, you can actually, kayo bahala, no? Example lang to. Tapos yung tatlong categories ng mga personality theories. So, syempre, maganda kapag nakakategorize siya. Like yung mga theories ni ganito, ni ganyan, ni ganyan. So, nakakategorize siya. So, maganda tignan siguro. So, pwedeng ilagay ito sa may table para lang makita na dito yung psychodynamic, neo-Freudian, tapos humanistic and existential theories. So, isipin nyo hindi lang din tayo. May mga ibang department din na bibisita sa course natin, sa mga exhibit natin, no? sa plaza. Sa plaza naman siguro to. May mga ibang students din na going to visit. So, um, I wanted to be more presentable. 
So gawin natin malinis no at pulido yung trabaho natin. So siguro for the core team siguro alam niyo na to no. Um gagawa kayo ng parang name tags na naka tarpaulin siguro or naka nakalagay sa isang papel na basta maganda siya hindi lang naman siya yung bukitig nan. Just to showcase pangalan no name ng booth natin. Tapos um, yung mga categories, ganito, ganyan. You may ask fun from Masaya Organization if feasible, if okay lang ba sa kanila, sa grupo, sa organization, or from the class. I send si, si Dominic naman yung may, ano, diba? yung president ninyo. So magtanong na lang kayo for the core team, ha? And from the class for the printing cost. So alam ko may budget din to, kahit maliit lang naman, pero... Um, yeah, ayoko maging hindrant yung, or maging problema yung finance nyo sa atin. So, uh, help, help na lang tayo. So, for the 40 members I assigned, I am giving you the autonomy to head and decide on the run of our booth. We'll also coordinate with other year levels for the run of the event. So, um, I guess I have assigned some core team members. Um, thank you so much for being so um, generous, no? And I mean, for being so participative and also for cooperating, no? In the task. Um, kayo yung mag eh. Kayo yung mga magiging kanang kamay ko. At saka sa entire event, no? Meron din kayong coordination din. So you may delegate tasks to your classmates as a leader. Actually, per section, may mga na-assigned akong core team, no? Or members to help me also in managing this outputs that you have and the entire run of our exhibit. So you may delegate tasks to your classmates as a leader. I also assign you to monitor the attendance of your classmates on the two-day event. AM and PM ha, yung attendance. So pwede kayong gumawa ng attendance sheet. Siyempre, they had to sign date kung anong oras sila nakapunta. Basta kailangan na merong maiwan sa booth. Okay lang na alis-alis kayo pero dapat may maiwan sa booth. We can do rotation, okay? Kung section ni ganito, ni ganyan, or oras ni ganito, ni ganyan. Just coordinate with your classmates. Also, this is not a competition of being the best, but it is an advocacy. So remember, I'm not really like judging or really criticizing ito yung pinakamaganda, pinaka the best, no? It's more that kailangan lang natin siyang ma ma pull off. At saka advocacy din to. For the love of psychology and mental health, no? Yun lang yung isipin natin. Um, kahit ako, na ano rin ako, short notice naman masyado, pero ganun talaga. <laughs> to everyone, I am hoping for your participation and cooperation for this event. Thank you, and let us do our best for the love of mental health and wellness. You are, your, you are the future of psychology. Remember that. You are the future of the psychology world. For the groupings, ito yung mga groupings ko for the portfolio and the live mini on the spot activity. Um, yeah, kasi yung poster kasi ng collab na siya. So, C207, these are your groupings. I have three groups for you. Erickson, these are the group members. Mandy, Garilios, Guerra, Miguel, Santos, Tongol, Limbaga, and Magayan. These are the groupings for Erickson. And the poster that you had to show is the developmental stages. So, alam niyo na yun. Uh, make it creative naman. Gawin nyo siyang creative na parang may tao or merong bata na parang lumalaki siya eventually. Huwag yung parang text lang. So, gawin nyo siya ng creative um, impression na hindi hindi lang puro text. Lagay nyo ng tao, di ba? Or something na rin. Like, for example, yung mga yung mga virtues, di ba? Yung love. O, oh, like, parang gum, gumawa, gum, gum, gumawa kayo ng parang eksena or parang mga tao that they are showing love or parang picture na may love or like wisdom, no? Or like yung matandang tao na parang um, meron siyang sinasabi sa bata. Ganun. So nagbibigay siya ng wisdom. Lagyan niyo siya ng konting ano, magandang im 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 uh, image or hindi lang siya plain ni text. Kayo bahala, ha? Kayo bahala on how you will design your poster. Okay, but the portfolio, follow the mechanics. From naman... These are the group members, Amasol, Garcia, Siapno, Wong, Alito, Hakalan, Pinto, and Sahor. So I guess ang ginawa ko is pinag-collab ko kayo with Erickson para tumulong no, sa, dun sa poster. So nag-collab kayo si Erickson and si Fromm to help sa poster. So syempre kailangan ma-balance natin yung mga, pag, yung mga task. No? So ganun. Si Maslow naman ay 208 na to. 
si me no si me uh, royal me so ina-assign ko kayo Elino Aquino Tabausares Watin Labrador Madrid or Julio Roldan and Mahipos for the theory of me which is existential psychology so alam ko this is a bit of a challenge kasi hindi pa natin total talaga na discuss pero i suggest you just read the book aaralin niyo man din talaga to no so um you just read the book plus you can watch videos in YouTube. Kasi marami talagang mga mini lecture videos on how to understand the basic concepts and tenets ni me. I know you're all intelligent, no? so kayang-kaya nyo yan. So questions, concerns with the groupings? May issues ba? May concerns sa groupings? Good to go ba tayo? None. Okay na tayo sa grupo, no? Kasi I had to balance also in giving you the, in assigning, no? Kasi pag hindi ko na balance, baka ma-over, you know, yung isa okay na okay, yung isa naman kulang. So, kailangan mapantay natin yung manpower dito, no? So, yun yung, yun yung uh, goal. Bakit ko kayo ina-assign randomly? For the poster task, again, may mga models sa kung sin si sinuggest na pwede natin gamitin like iceberg model by Freud this is for 208 3 model by Adler uh, I, this is the other section uh, MBTI paling ko na tong section um MBTI personality types yung young diba very popular yon yung yung ENFP diba yung mga ganung mga personality types Erickson's developmental Stages by Erickson. So I guess this is the output from your section. So pwede kayong gumawa ng magandang poster for this na ma-highlight yung virtues, yung mga developmental milestones up until the old age. Congruence versus incongruence. I think this is the other section. No? Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Uh, Maslow collab with Hornay. This is the other section as well. So, man search for meaning. Um, showcase a compendium of insights, quotes, and takeaways from this book. So, may group. I guess this is the group of Elino. So, gawa kay ng parang mga magandang mga quotes about doon kay lagi yun ng picture ni Frankel. Tapos, pwede yung lagyan ng mga quotes, na mga takeaways, mga messages, no? Kasi nakaka reflect yung tao din, kahit pa paano. Especially if he is undergoing suffering and pain. So on that way, I guess, makaka-promote mak tayo ng mental health wellness. So challenge din to. So um, I guess, if nakabasa na kayo ng libro ni Frankel, this is a reading assignment actually. I gave this on the start of our of our orientation. I don't know if nagbasa kayo or hindi. But gawa kayo ng compendium of insights, quotes, and takeaways from this book. So I assigned the group of May for this the existential psychology kasi nga related sila ni Frankel in a way they have the same paradigm you may work with collab to make it fair also the theories are related to one another so interrelated sila so hindi na questionable kung I will pair you towards another group so that is everything thank you for your cooperation for this event we can do this just do your best um, I will discuss this as soon as we will meet. Just reserve. If you are, if we have inquiries for now, because I'm going to send it as a message. <laughs> actually, message na to actually. This is the entire plan. So, what are your questions, concerns? If ever, hindi man tayo mag-meet tomorrow. Ayla, do you have concerns or questions or inquiries? None for now. Okay, so again, I'm giving you the liberty on how you will decide for this exhibit. This is your exhibit, okay? This is your exhibit. So we'll just highlight the le our learnings, the insights that, that we gain in our journey in the course. So please feel free to explore, to really create what do you feel is creative. Doon sa portfolio, if gusto nyo lagyan ng pop-out pictures, kayo bahala. If gusto nyo siyang gawan ng creative something, kayo bahala. Basta yung content ng, ng, uh, ng gusto ko, nan, nandun lang. No? Because at the end of the day, I will be the one to grade you. Ako lang yung mag-evaluate sa inyo. Though there are judging, on the second day, meron silang plano na merong mga judges to, you know, to judge the booth. But, 
I'm not fostering competition sa other booths. So, it's our entire ano lang, performance lang. Sa atin lang yun. Yung goal naman nito is to exhibit mental health and not na to exhibit na ikaw yung pinakamagaling. So, hindi naman ganun yung goal natin. So, mental health advocacy yung goal natin dito. And for the love of psychology. So, I will be returning your test papers by Saturday since we're going to have face-to-face -face classes by Saturday. I will be rationalizing also the lesson. No? And siguro magdi-discuss din ako about the theory of Maslow and Rogers. So, magbasa na lang kayo in advance kasi may time din tayo. Na. Okay? So, again, na-discuss ko na siya. Isa-send ko na lang to sa inyo. We will no longer discuss uh, this one. I will still discuss this with the other two sections tomorrow because we're going to meet tomorrow. Pero in regards with... Um, basta? Um, questions. Message nyo lang ako kung sinong leader ng group. Kasi tatlong grupo kayo dito. So assign kayo ng isang leader. Okay, assign kina isang leader. For those that are not here, please cascade this message. Assign kina isang leader para may mag-monitor ng progress ninyo. Okay? So, I am also assigning Ayla also for the attendance, no? Sa event proper, no? Um, if ever may mga ma... May maka... May, may meron kang ma-delegate na ibang um, responsibility also, okay lang din yun. So, I'm giving you that initiative also. Do you have any questions or concerns? So, we still have like ilang araw baba. May uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, Huwag ma-pressure. Huwag maging frustrated. Marami kayo sa grupo. Imagine that. Divide niyo yung task. Gumawa kayo ng GC. Divide kayo ng task. My leader who will give the assignments. Then you work as a team. Especially yung sa book niyo, Yung sa libro. Then may, may gagawa sa poster. May gagawa ng ganitong portfolio. Ha? So again, I'm expecting these outputs from you. Um, this will be highlighted sa events natin, sa days, day one and day two. So, kailangan natin to ma-showcase. Okay? So, do you have, wala nang tanong? Okay na tayo, goods na tayo? So, you, you make a team, ha? You make a GC para mas madali yung mga, yung mga, yung mga comlines natin. Hindi na mahirapan. So, our, if there are no other concerns, um, kakain na tayo ng happy lunch. Hindi pa kasi ako kumakain. So, thank you so much everyone for your attendance and for your uh, presence this morning. Have a wonderful afternoon ahead of you. See you soon and happy world mental health. Goodbye. Thank you, sir.